hey welcome back so now let's start coding let's go to can init and h can dot sorry can one dot instance is equal to can one right so that's the base address of the can one peripheral now after that can one dot init first let's select the mode so can loop back right so uh, let's use can more loop back great now after that in it so auto bus off you can make it as disable so that's not that important for our application now can one in it so auto retransmission yes we need it so let's make it enable to that auto wake up so this is to do with uh, low power modes so i don't think we need to use here let's keep it disabled and after that so we have already configured the mode prescalar right so now before that let me configure receive fifo locked so let's keep this as disable let's see what exactly it does okay so let's explore this member element so enable or disable the receive fifo locked mode actually this doesn't give much information now let's search in the reference manual okay so let me go to the can section here okay so let me search for locked okay so here it is receive fifo locked so if you actually it is by default zero okay now if it is zero uh receive fifo not locked on overrun let's consider a receive fifo zero so which has capacity to store three can messages okay once a receive fifo is full the next incoming message will override the previous one if it is zero so if it is one then what happens receive fifo locked against overrun once a receive fifo is full the next incoming message will be discarded okay that's the meaning of that let's use that as disable so let it be zero let it always replace the previous message okay so that we always have the latest message all right so now let's use the next one time triggered mode i think we can keep it as disable okay and after that just use transmit priority transmit 54 priority so let's see what is that priority so let's search for priority so here it is transmit 54 priority so this is actually in this is actually in can master control register okay great mcr all right so let's explore that so this bit controls the transmission order when several mailboxes are pending at the same time that means you should know that there are three mailboxes and when all the three mailboxes are loaded with messages then this bit will decide the priority okay if this bit is equal to zero then it's priority driven by the identifier of the message because that is a transmission scheduler and that actually checks which mailbox has got the lowest identifier value and that will be scheduled first now if this is one then priority driven by the request order that means the identifier value will not be given any importance so it is just chronological great now let's move forward so let's keep it disable and after that okay so these are the settings related to the can controller and let's do settings related to the can bit timings okay first let's select the prescalar is equal to so prescalar actually you refer to this table okay so we are running at 25 megahertz so let's first let's use this row let's see it works or not so let's use the prescalar as 5 let me use that and h can 1 in it next one is uh, sync jump width let's use one time quanta for this so here it is so let's use this one time quanta 
and let's go to main.c after then h can one now let's select time segment one is equal to so time segment one should be eight so select eight this one and after that again you have to repeat this for segment two segment two is equal to segment two is one let's do that okay fine here it is so we actually did all the settings now let's call the init api now in order to know the init api it better to go to the driver can.c and we have got hl can init okay so you just have to pass the address of the handle great so let's do that so simple let's go to the main and if and of h can one not is equal to hl okay error handler awesome so we just finished can initialization right so it should work at 500 kbps so complete up to here and i'll see you in the next lecture